ask me what exactly they need to buy in order to do the activities in my videos. So here's a video on that. Um, if you are doing elementary math and you have from one to three students, then uh, you'll need a small group set of Cuisinair rods and you choose either wood or plastic. Um, and you also need a set of 10 base 10 hundred flats. They're called hundred flats because they're equal to a hundred little cute things, little ones. Um, if you are going to make your own algebra manipulatives, you will need some, um, from a base 10 set, the rods. So they're the same length as our 10 rods here. Um, but they're from a base 10 set. And then you will probably want some extra 100 flats as well. Um, if you want the specific links for that, you can look on my website at www.educationunboxed.com and there will be links there that you can just click on and buy what you need. I also want to briefly talk about whether or not you should get wood or plastic Cuisinair rods. Uh, the plastic are a little bit cheaper um, and they are more durable, they'll last longer, of course. The wood can be chewed on by dogs and cats and babies and such, so um, they're definitely not as durable. But the wood ones, um, I think I actually prefer those uh, right now, and I'll show you why in a minute. In our videos, what you see is plastic, um, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be buying wood ones for us pretty soon, so let me show you why. All right, now I don't actually have a set of wooden Cuisinier rods. I gave mine away and got some plastic ones, and now I think I'm going to switch back, and here's why. Uh, first, I'll show you these. The red one is a plastic, and the little tan one is wood. It's just from a base 10 set. Um, but the tan one, that's the way that the wood set of Cuisinier rods is going to come. You see how it's perfectly straight there? And then look at the red one. It kind of bubbles out a little bit. And so um, it's going to not be as close of a fit when you lay the Cuisinair rods side to side. And so here's where the problem comes in. Um, when you're showing, trying to show the commutative property of multiplication, this shows three 10 rods and 10 3 rods. Uh, now what should happen is that they should line up perfectly here, but do you see how we have that gap? And that's because um, these are, remember I said they're bubbled out a little bit, so when you put them side to side, there's a little bit extra space there, and so we end up having that little edge there not going right up against it. Now you can uh, move it over just a little, and it's not quite as noticeable, and a lot of kids will be forgiving of that, and they'll, they'll understand that it really is supposed to be equal, uh, but there are going to be kids who who are going to struggle with this and really need it to line up perfectly. So in that case, you will want to get the wood Cuisinair rods, which will actually line up nice and tightly together like that. So, as you can see, if you don't have dogs, cats, or babies that are going to chew up your Cuisinair rods, uh, you should probably get the wood ones. Although, if you already have plastic, um, they should work fine. Uh, all the videos that you see on our site so far, uh, are, we're using plastic ones. So all of those activities can be done with that. It just makes it a little bit more difficult when you get into multiplication um, or also building walls. If, you, if your kids want to make buildings um, and by stacking them up like this, making walls, it's kind of difficult because they tend to topple over. The plastic ones do um, because they bubble out a little bit. So uh, get the wood ones if you don't already have a set. They would be the best ones to get.